Chalk is uh, basically a massive fossil, okay? Its, uh, it's primary uh, chemical uh, or, or mineral that m makes it up is, uh, is from calcium. And that actually comes from tiny little sea creatures called coccolithophores, okay? Little plankton planktonic sea creatures. They're covered in little shells called coccoliths. Those coccoliths make up the majority of chalk. So you're talking about billions, maybe even trillions of these little tiny fossils which make up the bulk of chalk and makes into them how you've got uh, these great big other fossils you know brachiopods the big shells the bivalves the great big ammonites you can even get fossil wood fossil trees go through chalk uh, belemnites the squids you get so much of stuff and, and fossils in there but the main bulk of the chalk itself is basically a massive collection of teeny tiny little fossils so that in itself it is basically just a giant bulk of fossils it's a, it's a fossil graveyard is what they're known as because there's just so many of these fossils in there so limestone chalk is actually a form of limestone Okay, so limestone is, is really interesting. It's made primarily out of uh, calcium. Calcium carbonate is the bulk uh, product of limestone. You've got two ways of building it. You've got fossiliferous limestone and you've got chemical limestone. Uh, fossiliferous limestone, uh, like the chalk and also like some of the places you get in Morocco in the chem, chem beds, it is basically just a collection of loads and loads of tiny little sea creatures, uh, which, I mean, their shells are made out of calcium carbonate. Okay, so it, compressing and turns them into this limestone. The other way you get chalk is through a chemical reaction from the rock. I mean, limestone calcium itself is present in most of the rocks. So you get it, basically it's churned up, goes through a chemical reaction. It basically is very similar to the way that we build cement. Okay, in fact, we make cement uh, and hence concrete out of limestone. Okay, we mine the limestone, grind it down, bake it, and you've got ready-made uh, rock, basically. Uh, so it's it's a chemical process. It's a process which has uh, has formed these layers of la these layers of rock in, in limestone. In fact, limestone is probably one of the most common rocks that you can find, uh, certainly around the UK, mostly around the world. It's one of the most common rocks. It's also one of the most common rocks to find fossils in, especially well-preserved fossils as well.